Nobody was at the um Aziz Asia, yeah. Cause remember you kept telling us to get on the train and we kept on saying what train? Anyway, that's that's when we went Asia. So I was thinking about that. It was that was a dramatic trip for us. It was a lot that happened, you know. I said, I don't know. Anyway, um, I think I was triggered a little bit. Um, so I go all the way down to the end. Nobody's there to look at your ID and stuff. It's just the people that you know send you through the little machine. So they like, come on in, ma'am, show us your ID and all this other stuff, right? Mind you, pause in my story because I could talk forever, y'all. I've literally been using my passport as my ID for the last year. Um y'all, it's a long story. My my license is um <laughs> you'd be glad it wasn't Philly. Yeah, Philly Airport be on some stuff too, but you know, no shade. I don't I don't like Philly Airport either. Um I've been using that as my my ID. My my license is expired. I ain't drove since bro, since 2019. Like so I sold my car. Yeah, I think I I I literally resigned from my job at CPS in 2019. Went to Uganda in the midst of that. I don't know what I was thinking. That was a lot for me. Um, and then I, you know, I sold my car because I wasn't driving it. And then COVID happened. So I ain't drove a car in I don't know how long, right? So I don't I I went a couple times to get it um, together after, you know, everything opened back up. But it's always a drama. Me and my sister have been maybe three or four times. It's always been drama. Oh, you need a social security card. Oh, you need this. or you need that. And they send me back. So I really been using my passport um, for my ID. Literally almost two years, y'all. I know it's trifling. So, you know, a lesson taught. I need to get my my i my state id my license all of that together i know i do anyway so i'm explaining it to this guy you know and he just looking first of all he looked like he had a bad day he looked like he was having a bad day okay so mind you in my mind he don't know what i just been through and honestly i don't even know what he done been through either you know like yep i i got flewed out to dominican republic and got flew back in he don't know that right I don't know if people was fighting at the job or whatever. He just looked over it, okay? I was over it. He was too. So you got two options. One, you give him back that same energy. I ain't even had energy to give him. Or you are extra patient and nice. And that's I was just patient. I said, sir, this is the situation. All right? This is what happened. He was just looking at me like, like in disgust. Yeah, he was just looking at me like, bro, how old are you? What? And I explained, I said, so the only thing that I have in my, my wallet, thank God I have my wallet, is an expired license. He said expired. He said, girl, you can't come through here with that. Bro, I just told you that I was using my license as, as my, um, you know, my ID for the last whatever. I just told you all my business, you know. And he's like, whoa, that's expired. I, I, I can't do nothing about that. And so he got smart and he was like. You got your social security card or something? Uh, excuse me, sir. I actually do. It was in my wallet because I needed it. The last time they sent me away to renew my license or get my state ID, they told me I needed a social security card. I couldn't find mine, so I ordered a new one. It was in my wallet. So I pulled it out, and he just looked at me like, you carrying your social security card around? I said, well, thank God that I am because I, I got a, I, they gave me a hard time in Punta Cana, and here I am in Jersey, and I'm seeming to get another hard time, so... I hear my bank card, everything with my name on it. My name is Frenda. Who else got that name? Bro, can you let me do this so I can go use the bathroom? Please. So he was like, fine, we're just going to have to do a modified, whatever. So he sent me over to this other guy. He, you know, I had to, you know, give him my bag. Mind you, I still have my carry-on. He unzipped it. It was just a lot. They un he unzipped my bag. I had to sit on my bag to zip it in the first place. He done unzipped it. He wiping his stuff down. You know, just wiping it down or something. You know, putting it through this machine. It keeps messing up. I was like, friend him. You got to be patient. Listen, you got to get through here. I know you about to sit in this airport for how many hours, but just relax. So, he doing all that. He unzipped the bag. Then he pushes the bag back to me. He's like, zip that back up. I said, sir, can I put it on the ground and sit on it? Because that's how I zipped it up in the first place. You know, he was like, what? I said, you unzipped it, sir. 
at home, I sat on it. My body, I set my body on it, and that's how I was able to zip it. I said, because you opened it and you took the stuff out around, I'm telling you, can I take it off this table and can I sit on it? He just stared at me. I was like, Father, I don't know if this is a test. Lord, let me pass it. Because what? So he's like, um, you can do whatever at this point. <laughs> so I take the bag, I sit on it, and I zip it up. So I'm standing there. I'm like, am I free to go? He's like, yeah. So y'all, child, I walk, take my bag. You know, I'm in socks at this point because I have flip-flops on. I take my bag and I find the bathroom. I'm going to say this. Newark Airport is a lot different from the last time I went. It's bigger. I think they expanded. It's cleaner. It's a lot mo modern. So, I mean, that, that, that little uh, train thing that they have is still the same, honey. It looks like the L station in Chicago or the subway in New York. Um, but it was really nice, you know, very clean. The bathroom was really clean, y'all. So, I go in the bathroom. Because think about it, y'all. I ain't processed what happened to me. I, I, I just... <laughs> I need to talk. You a bitch talking about you be cussing. I just didn't have the energy, yo. And the truth of the matter is still, it still remains. I left my backpack on the plane. Okay? It would have never happened if I didn't leave my backpack. So I had to keep bringing myself to that. Like, friend, you left your stuff. Like, if you, when you start getting a little whatever, you left your book bag. Yeah, it was a mistake. You were sleepy. Okay. So... I still hadn't processed, so I went in the bathroom, y'all. TMI a little bit. I released all the bull that was all on the inside of me, y'all. I just, it just, it, I, I just had to. Mind you, I have, I thank God for the little purse. I got the the pine, not the pine saw, child. What is it? The light saw, all of that stuff. Use the bathroom. Then I said to myself, I'm like. I'm going to sit in this bathroom because it was that clean and that quiet. So I clean everything off um, and I put, you know, fully clothed, sat on the toilet and I just sat there because I needed to like take all of this in. Like what the heck just happened? Like here it is like nine. It was a little bit after nine. It was like 930 ish. I just flew out this morning to Punta Cana and I had to leave my family there and I'm back in the United States and it's 9 30 p.m. what just happened so I'm just I'm sitting on the toilet for a minute I'm fully clothed at this point I'm just sitting just like trying to take it all in like Lord and I'm just the type of person that believe everything happens for a reason like it just does sometimes you know the reason and sometimes you don't and you got to be okay with that like I child I don't know um and sometimes stuff is just not that deep um, but I was like, something is, I don't know. Anyway, put, I sat there about 30 minutes. I was just in quiet, like just kind of taking it all in. I sent some text messages to my family to check on them, see how everybody was doing, making sure every, you know, that I got, let them know I got to Jersey and making sure they enjoying themselves and not worried about me. Cause again, um, I travel anyway, so if anybody could have it happen to it, needed to happen to me or probably Apostle K. We about the only ones that have figured it out. Pops would have probably, I don't know what he would have did. Quita, child, I right, anyway, I'm not finna even go through the list. It, it, I was the right person for it to happen to, okay? So I'm sitting on that toilet, man. I'm just like, Lord, I don't know what just happened. Um, I'm back in the United States, give me the strength to stay up tonight. Uh, mind you, I had the McGriddle that morning. I was hungry, okay? I've been on a diet, y'all, all of 2020. Literally, I've been on a diet. Just been hungry all 2020, okay? And I think that's what helped me, the fact that I've really been hungry all 2020. So, I said, I think I sat in that bathroom too long because by the time I got out, all the restaurants was closed. It was like 10.05, 10, 10.10. 10. All the restaurants closed. I was in there cleaning. I said, well, I'd be doggone. Possible case and money, like, oh, you need to eat dinner tonight, blah, blah, blah. Y'all had to eat snacks. Cause all of all the restaurants closed. Okay. I'm like, Lord. But again, I've been hungry all 2020. I was made for this, okay? You know, I was made for it. So I went and got like, you know, little snacks or whatever. And I set up. Um, and there was the only people that was in the airport was the workers, and it was like four little 
four and they wasn't they were teenage boys and it was one lady that was with them i don't know if she was the mom or whatever they were laughing doing their own thing but she just kept staring at me i i have no problem i'm a people's person if you're gonna look at me smile or something don't just stare at me so about the 58 time that she stared at me i just was like hi at this point like I, and i was like friend don't let your release your frustrations out on karen because karen didn't do nothing to you but look at you 58 times okay so i mean she just was staring i finally was like hi and she stopped looking so she stopped looking at me after that so anyway um so i just kind of stayed up i was you know on youtube you know looking through stories i facetime with my sister i talked to my other sister danny because she was like oh my god you're okay you're okay i'm like i am fine i decided against letting my sister chicks know because again my flight was going to leave i was going to board my flight at 5 30 a.m so i didn't want to worry them or stress them and i didn't want nobody to come trying to get me and then try to get me back to the airport it's too much so i didn't even i again i was still trying to figure out what happened like bro you went to punta cana on thursday left at 9 a.m and you was back in the united states by 9 p.m like who does that happen to me so anyway y'all I, I was in the airport it was straight i i you know was on uh social media look being nosy you know looking at people's stuff that i hadn't seen because you know the algorithms with um with social media a lot of times you don't even see people that you follow you don't even see their stuff you got to go to their page so i was going through you know old pictures and stuff you know about four o'clock i got real i got sleepy and some people started coming i was getting really tired um and i was like lord hold me over okay so then i get on my my flight y'all i said a quick prayer and i was not i was gone like i man i don't even remember them I went to sleep before they even did their little um, um, security, you know, information thing. I was gone. I was knocked out, okay? I woke up to the landing, okay? The, I don't know what the pilot, the pilot was fine through the whole flight because clearly I was asleep. I was knocked out. I didn't feel nothing. The landing, it was like, yo, he just said, forget all y'all. Boom everybody was flying all over i was like what you know what i'm just i was just startled up okay so that's what woke me up the landing the little it was a little guy next to me like a little teenager and he just kind of like grabbed me he was like oh i'm sorry it's all right we was all in fear you know when you scared it don't matter i'm your auntie right now so it's okay you can grab my arm but anyway i we get to i get to chicago I'm like, Lord, let me just get home. Let me get in this Uber. Before I do I do that, I go to United to do an official um, uh, lost item report. Not knowing my family had done this in Dominican Republic. My family, blessed. I love, man, I'm so blessed. I got so many people that love me. I'm gonna when I tell you, my family went the heck off. Actually, the H-E double hockey sticks off on them folk in the airport. They probably got they pictures up they cut up okay um and so they had already put in a, a report but i didn't you know and talking with each other we wasn't talking about that but they went off like and y'all got to just know my sister and then apostle k the emotional intelligent person that she is she's amazing don't play with her though okay don't play i see you maddie maddie no best friend is on here don't play with her don't play with her about her family. Don't play with her about nobody she loved, y'all, because she will go there. <laughs> so they was going off in Dominican Republic. Because, again, they lost me off, you know, uh, like I was a criminal. And it just was a lot going on. So they put a report in for me, um, but I didn't know. I got to Chicago. I put one in. The little guy that was there, he didn't want to be at work. I don't be getting mad at people who don't want to be at work. I'm not even that type of person. I'm like, well, you shouldn't have got this job. I remember the days when I didn't want to be at work. Okay. So I have a little compassion for them. I don't be trying to run up. You know, if you look like you're having a bad day, I'm not going to make it no worse. You know, I'm just not. I just remember the days I cried in my car before I went inside the building. You know? So he didn't look like he wanted to be at work. It was early in the morning. 
He the only one in there. I'm the only one in there. He done sent me to the phone talking about pick up that phone and let it ring. Sir, I can't do the report with you. No. Okay. So I went. I did the little thing. I said, let me get me an Uber. The Uber guy came, got me to the house. I said, let me get some Chick-fil-A. I ain't had no Chick-fil-A, them little mini um, biscuits. My God, they so good. I, I, listen, I ate them when I got back Friday morning. I had some. I had some on Saturday morning. Let me tell you how fat I was acting. I got up to order some today, but it's Sunday. And Chick-fil-A is holy. They ain't open. I just knew I was getting some today. I'm going to get some tomorrow. Um, I got that, and then by 10 30, I checked in with my family. I'm like, I'm in the house, I'm good, everything is good. I went to sleep about 10 a.m. Y'all, I did not wake back up until like 7 p.m. And I only woke up because I had to use the bathroom. That's the only that's the only reason why I woke up. Then I said, Well, let me get dinner, order some dinner. By 9 p.m., y'all, I went back to sleep. I was tired when I tell you I'm rested. Okay, I'm rested. I slept all day Friday. Saturday, I got up at like 6 a.m. because I slept all day. Um, I chill. I was like watching next flick or whatever. If you know me, I'm a busy body. Like sitting still, I don't really do that a lot. And that's something I have been working on. Um, so I made myself sit still and I get involved in some stuff. Um, and then, y'all, at like 1 p.m. or whatever, um, my family FaceTimed me. They found my stuff, yo. They <laughs> found my bag. Um, with all my stuff in it on Saturday, right? So they was trying to get me on a flight to get back. I kept telling them, don't waste no money. It's okay. It's fine. It's whatever. Um, but if I would have got on a flight, it would have been like a 16 hour or something because I would have to be, um, it was too layover. It was just too much. I would have got to them on Sunday. So, um, anyway, y'all, um, I, they found my stuff. I'm going to get my bag and stuff back um, when they come back. They come back tomorrow, um, and they'll bring it back to me. But they found it, y'all, and God is good. They found my stuff. Um, I mean, they don't have it yet to look in it, but they found it. I'm sure every, it's not I want my sister soldier book really to be up in there. I won't get on my MacBook, of course. Um, but please don't ha let them take my. I've been waiting 20 years to read this. Yeah, I, really? So they found my bag. They're going to bring it back to me. Um, and i just been chilling at home. And I realized something, too. Um, I, I have not been by myself since November. And I'm the type of person I love people. Um, and in, in my career, my job, and my ministry, I'm giving out to people. But how I um, fool myself or re-energize myself is being alone. And I honestly have not been been alone since november um so i've been just chilling it's just been me um in this house uh and i've really been chilling i usually be up cleaning up stuff i was like i'm gonna clean that storage room i didn't do nothing you know i didn't do i just i was on netflix i was you know on social media i uh did a lot of quiet time so god knows again i'm not even mad i got my bag is found and honestly, if it wasn't found, thank God that it was, I was going to be okay. I was going to, oh, the book is good. All right. My cousin said the book is good. Yes, I'm going to read. I was going to read it, honey, and that sand, but it's okay. I, you know what? I, I just, I told my God baby to bring me some sand back. I'm just going to just, just throw it on my toes when she get here. It's going to be okay. But I'm good, y'all. Everybody that reached out to me. Um, it was like, oh my God, take care of yourself. Are you okay? Do you need anything? I love y'all so much, but I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I was, I was good when they slung me back on the plane. Now mug said, you going back to the United States on today. But it's a book, um, Coldest Winter Ever, uh, written by Sister Soldier, right? About 20 years ago. She, she wrote it in the nineties and it's a sequel to it that we waited 20 years for i bought this book i actually pre-ordered it that's how thirsty i was okay um and i didn't get a chance to um i didn't get a chance to read it so i was gonna read it on vacation but okay but y'all i just had to come live and let y'all know this story i'm gonna upload it to my youtube channel um but yeah y'all stuff just be happening to me and i be like you know what i don't know sometimes 
again, I believe everything happened for a reason. And even sometimes you don't know why. But my family be back on Monday. We're going on another family trip in a few months. I've been to Dominican Republic three times. Actually, the resort where they're staying at, if any of my sisters, no, Barbara Bianca's not on here. But we went to we went to Dominican Republic. I don't know if it was 2016, I believe. We stayed at a resort. Y'all, they are in the, at the same resort. They just on the rich people's side. That's the difference. I was at that resort. They just at the rich people. My family on the rich people's side. Where they had like the pools that you swim up. And your own like, um, you swim up. You can come out of your room. And your pool is right there. Instead of having like the, um, the pools for everybody. They just on the rich people's side. But I was at the same resort. So, yeah. But I'm good. I am. You know, and I hope the story bless y'all. It's all about perspective, you know. I could have, um, you know, sat around and moped. But for what? I'm, I'm okay. I'm in my right mind. You know, nothing physically happened to me. You know, I, I did feel what I felt at the moment. I was upset at the moment and, you know, got a little emotional. But I don't know about y'all. I know it's like to be depressed. I was not going to put myself in a depressed state. And sometimes we can do that based on different things that we go through. I know what it is to be so depressed because, you know, of grief or losing people that you couldn't control or, you know, hormonal type stuff. Sometimes you just don't know what it is, but it's something in you and you feel so dark and you don't know what's going on. I've been there. OK, so in a situation like this, I wasn't going to intentionally make a decision to be depressed for a trip. No, my family enjoyed them. So they sent me pictures and stuff. Um, so, and, and stuff happened to people, you know, stuff happened to people all the time. I wanted to go on a trip. Okay. But I'm alive. I'm okay. It's all, it's going to be okay. And so I had to keep telling myself that sometimes you got to tell yourself it's okay. And I told my family, I said, listen, don't worry about me. That's why I FaceTime them. I got <laughs> some FaceTime with them, you know, not front. Cause if you know me, I'm not, I, I don't, I don't fake for nobody. Okay, I'm not saying when it did not happen, I wasn't in shock or I wasn't upset or emotional. What I'm saying is I made a decision not to mope. I made a, a decision not to be um, sad or, you know, why does everything happen to me? Bro, everything happened to everybody. Like, it's going to be okay. <laughs> it's going to be okay. I'm going to travel again, you know. So it's going to be okay. So... I don't know. That's just me. But I did want to share with y'all. And I thank y'all so much. Barbara and I see you, boy. I love you. Y'all, I, I, for y'all reaching out, texting me and stuff. I'm really okay. And for real, that thumbnail, y'all, I'm a YouTuber. Y'all hear me? I like, I'm a real, I'm almost monetized. They taught me in YouTube school, you know, you got to be dramatic. So I found this dramatic picture. Actually, from a time when I missed my plane, when I was supposed to be at the Soul Train Music Awards. And I took that sad picture in the um in the bathroom. That's what that picture from. That ain't even an updated picture. And I use it for my thumbnail. Because you're supposed to get some more views. So I wanted to let my people know I wasn't. I'm, I'm okay. But this thumbnail I need to put up here on my YouTube so I can get some views. That's all. But I'm good. I really am. So thank y'all for um sitting through this story. I don't know how long it was because I can talk forever. But I'm good, y'all. My family get back on Monday. I got, I got the rest of my um, time to just be by myself, you know, and just chill, you know. I don't have to worry about like, oh my God, you have to make sure your, you have your shirt on or you make sure you have the white pants coming out because Micah's here or Pop's here. I just let it all hang out, y'all. I just been so free for the last couple of days yeah, and it feels so good. So I'm good. And my family's good. They're having a good time. My god babies are enjoying themselves. They need because they was cooped up in the house for a year and a half, y'all. So we good though. We good. I'm good over here. I love y'all. All the dogs, no, nah, they at their own resort, honey. They at their doggy resort. Yeah, they went to we um Apostle K dropped them off on we left on Thursday. They dropped them off on Wednesday. So they have a whole dog. When I tell you it's a doggy resort, right? They got their own room. They got a TV. They got a pool. They go right outside their room and they got a pool. No lie. So they enjoying it. 
you know, they get cuddle time and all of that good stuff. Yeah, send me one. And it, that was too, Carol. You sent me those pictures. Y'all, I'm a God Mommy Deluxe, right? So my oldest God baby, my firstborn has a little girl, Araya. Carol sent me, her mommy sent me pictures of my Gigi baby. Like, I think I had just landed in Jersey when you sent those. It just made my night. So stuff like that, it just made my night. I mean, she just, she sent me like all these pictures of her just smiling. She almost won. I'm going to see her soon. I'll be in Atlanta. I'm going to tell y'all when I'm coming um, to finally meet her. I've never met her. Just see her through pictures. But I love y'all. And thank y'all for y'all support and reaching out. You know, folks, you need something. I cannot send you something. And if I was trifling, I'd have took all them cash apps. But I'm not trifling like that. I didn't need nothing. So I was like, no, no, thank you. But you know, trifling people that I would use for, they going to cry and can on and take them cash apps. I wasn't finna do that for y'all. I might need them later. So I ain't need them now. But I thank y'all for offering them. I've been eating everything that I wasn't supposed to, like pizza and stuff. I'm going back on my diet Tuesday because they don't get back from vacation till Monday. So technically speaking, I, I can go back on my um my diet. I love you too, Lakia. But bye, y'all. I'm going to go in the house because I think these bugs are trying to bite me. Um, but thank you for listening to my um story and everything. I hope y'all was blessed by it and enjoyed it. And And don't be like me. Okay, if you're going to sleep on the plane, put put your passport in your bra like your grandma taught you. Or put it back in the wallet where it belongs. Because even if I had left that backpack on there, if I had to put it where it belonged, I would have still had my passport. Anyway, it's a lesson learned. Love y'all for real. I'm about to go because I'm about to finish watching this show on Netflix, y'all. It's so good. I love y'all, okay? Hi, Dr. Ashley. Love you too. All right, I'm finished. Bye, bye, Anissi. I love you and miss you so much. Bye, y'all.